is me, Vamix19, and I am in in doing three boss commands. As you can see, these command blocks back here, and um, just to notice, these command blocks, these commands only work for 1.11. So yeah, make sure you're on 1.11. So first one I'm gonna get into is the first one which is not too dangerous oh, 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 um, I forgot I had it on peaceful so this is the lightning power ghost and this was a bit of failure it's supposed to be invisible but if you can see I have a toad on a, of undying oh, see. oh dang it but yeah, that's what happens. It doesn't destroy anything, but it hurts you a lot. Luckily, I've got full diamond armor on. Otherwise, probably if you were there, then you probably would have died. Not sure, maybe I need to perfect it. But on to the next one. The assassin. Who is somewhat almost impossible to beat, but it's really worth it if you kill him. So, this guy's really powerful, and you never know when he might, might be back. So you've got to give it your best shot at killing him, otherwise he's going to kill you because he is epically strong, and as you can see, right there I was killed by him. So, as you can see, he's extremely epically strong. But, as I was going to say, he has a very epic drop. Let me just gather everything up. Get everything into order. Mm, this is annoying. But yeah, if I kill him, as I was gonna do, you probably should use instant arrows of healing, instant health too, because these are the strongest weapon against this guy, because this guy, as you can see through his hands, is really a zombie. Who, like, and a bit on his chest, he's that little green bit. But really, he's a pure assassin. Come on, die, assassin. An easy way to kill him is to do that, but I'm not gonna. Ah, there you go. So he'll drop Rotten Flesh, normally because he's a zombie, and the assassin mask. Now, if you put it on, as you can see, it says 20, 50 max health, zero, half normal. 0.5 speed, which is actually quite fast, 10 attack damage, 100 armor toughness, and 20 armor. That is what makes this guy epic and powerful. So I'm just going to put his head here. Actually, I think I'll use it for the next guys because for the next guy because this guy is epically strong. Actually, I think I'll do this guy first. So as you can probably tell from his from the head, it is a Samurai. Actually, I need to be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back and um, I'm ready. As you can see, I'm gonna do a thing which heals me up. Come on, here. I think that one might have heard me. But as you can see, they're sometimes healing me, and that's because they're instant health two arrows. But 
but if I did it like that, I'm pretty sure it would hurt a lot more. So then you get the samurai. It's actually not too slow. That's what gives him that really surprise when you're like, ah! And he's very hard with knockback. Well, not too hard, but you probably know what I mean. It's a lot easier once you kill him because he has really good armor. And I think I'm going to put on the Samurai Helmet, which gives you full with the... Normally it should give you even more than that. Even if you take off all of this, it basically, even with only the chest plate and the boots, you're still basically full armor. That's why this is a super epic set of armor. So I'm just going to use it, It, but I just want to do a thing. And then the freaking creepers came. Okay, but um, yeah, I'll just put this back and place one right there. And then the freaking creepers came. I did quite even get an out. Oh no, oh no, where is it? <gasps> Come at me, bruh. Nice bit. Ah, dang it. But whatever. Oh, dang it. Why did it have to do that again? But, um, yeah, I'll just. Nope. So, something I want to tell you about this guy is that I don't really want to actually fight him in survival mode because this is the hacker and you could probably tell because of his anonymous head but he's extremely epic so um if you're really challenged by being a fighter also he has no knockback if you really want to challenge yourself in this then you better fight him in survival mode but i'm just gonna fight him like this because i'm not too good of a fighter so when you kill him he'll uh wait did i actually kill him Oh wait, no, he just zoomed away somewhere. Um, so, careful, he'll zoom around and kill you, but if he'll probably drop arrows, obviously. And if you get it, then you'll, if you kill him, then you get the hacker mask, which is the most epic head ever I've ever made. Like, seriously, it's epic. Now, after this, I just want to show you a special villager that I made, um, right now. So, um, I said that I would bring you here, and, um, the command for it is here, uh, but it's set to always active, so I can't do it again. But, um, he's supposed to, like, have a beard, and he's the old man, and he's the birch villager. So, you need two bir full stacks of birch saplings to get the magical boss herbs. And if you give it to him, you get the magical boss herbs. No, well, he it's only works if you hold it in your other hand. So, if you've seen this guy in your world, you better start collecting ing birch, birch saplings, because this thing is epic. You, it, it, that's why I called it boss, because you can literally, like, almost one-punch mobs. And, um, yeah. This guy is not, is called the Birch Villager, and, um, he, I, I know I should have maybe, like, given him a Groot head, but I like this, because then it looks like he has a little beard. 3D beard, and I really like it. So, also discover these commands, use these commands, and think. And I hope you'll like the hacker boss mod. I it took me a while to, it, well, not too much, but it, but the samurai took me a long, long time. Also, as you can see, this head does not work in any of the other places. It is not here, not here, not here. Not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, but it does work here. So that's the whole point of it. 
But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.